Donald Trump and Fox News, they've been like you know, peanut butter and chocolate for years now, but not over this last weekend with Donald Trump going on a tweet storm against his favorite source of news, also his only source of news. Um, he said watching Fox News weekend anchors is worse than watching low ratings fake news CNN or lion Brian Williams. Remember when he totally fabricated a war story trying to make himself into a hero and got fired? A very dishonest journalist and because the stream of consciousness. Uh, and the crew of degenerate Comcast Trump haters who do whatever Brian and Steve tell them to do. Is that kill me and Ducey? I honestly don't know. Like CNN, NBC is also way down in the ratings, but Fox News, who failed in getting the very boring Dem debates, this is all over the place, is now loading up with Democrats and even using fake unsourced New York Times as a source of information. I'm not even gonna read that, it's ridiculous. Uh, let's see, Fox News is changing fast, but they forgot the people who got them there. And so Fox News broadcasting today, breaking news from under the bus. Is this gonna last? I mean, is he gonna be back hugging them later today? I think he was on earlier today, actually. Was he really? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is this could be a ploy from him to get more favorable coverage out of them. They always seem to react and assemble pretty quickly and do these flattering stories and have him on. They'll have him on Hannity for like an hour at a time, just no commercials, just give him kind of a free microphone. Um, yeah, the, the way Fox has cozied up to Trump should really scare everybody. Um, and also shines a light on the role of like corporate media. Yeah. So when you have uh, you have a media institution as big as Fox with a vested a vested stake in appeasing the president, I mean they're going to do flattering coverage. They're not going to hold people accountable. And another, I mean he mentioned it in the tweet, but another example is like this is this is perfect reason why they should never have a DNC debate. When you have a partisan figure influencing their coverage so closely linked with them, and you saw his reaction during the debates, even when it was on MSNBC. Yeah, this isn't somebody that should be dictating their editorial flow that they should be kowtowing to. I mean, it's it's chilling, it's alarming, um, and it shows that like Fox isn't a rational, independent media outlet. This is just a, a purely partisan propaganda wing. And, and, and one more question, the thing that scares me, so it's one thing where you know, Trump wants favorable coverage uh, on Fox News. Uh, but now it's become a thing where how could Fox News actually turn against Donald Trump? What would be left for them if they were to do that? I mean, we saw what happened with you know Justin Amash for supporting impeachment. The few Republicans who go against Trump in primaries, they get absolutely eviscerated. If Fox were to decide, you know what, our future lies with Jeb or something. I don't, would the conservatives who have loved Fox News for literally decades, would they stick with Fox or would they go with their new strongman? So uh, I, I've thought a, lot, a little bit about this. And um, if Fox were to ever turn on Trump, I, I just don't see a, a way forward for them because they, they've indoctrinated their, indoctrinated their viewers to such an extent that they would cannibalize the network. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just like this another example of like they can't really change their primetime programming because their viewers would lash out. They're so hooked on this outrage, this 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 pure, like unbridled, like right wing propaganda. They they can't do anything like else. They they can't go to CNN because this this presentation of two different sides or or their interpretation of it is just like incomprehensible to them. Uh, one thing also, there's another far right outlet on American news that's trying to creep up on Fox with the well, the CEO or the president of the network explicitly tweeting at Trump saying like, hey man, like we will be that outlet for you. We will hmm. cozy up to you, we will defend you. And it's just like these people are using media infrastructure to run propaganda networks and, and, and partisan operations. Like we need to be careful about what we watch, what we consume, yeah. and also how these providers like Dish Network and the cable companies and all these different things, how they serve and present these channels, because this isn't news. Yeah. This isn't. This is just entertainment with a partisan bent. And they, the Fox News might come to regret some of what they've trained their audience in for the past few years, where they have trained the audience that the president gets to decide what's real and what news is fake news. But that label could be turned on them really fast, and they have done the work to to get their audience to be ready to turn on them. In my view. Uh, well, Jordan, we're always glad to have you here. We appreciate your activism uh, both on and off the show. And so thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, John.
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.